All right, we are done with the Kodiak. I believe that we, uh, won the battle. yeah, we, we did win a battle. Let me, sorry, I'm, why does it say only one time? I don't, oh, I don't know why, because I don't want that. All right, so. We're taking the wheels off to bleed these brakes properly. We won the battle. We did win uh, with our carburetor. We we should hook up the air fill or the uh, the uh, the vent to the carburetor. I don't believe that's the issue anymore. So we had a problem. We always thought it was the we thought it was the carburetor adjusting needle, and then we thought it was the um, fuel injector pump in the carburetor, and it turns out it wasn't. Um, turns out that we, I hooked up an air intake to that uh, air box that was, wasn't letting sufficient air in. And when I was getting in uh, second and third gears, it would bog down on me when I was trying to accelerate. And I thought it was a fuel issue, but it, I believe it was obviously a, uh, air issue because fuel and air mixture is a big deal with all these damn things. So you gotta fine tune it. So right now, we're finding it easy to, uh, so put a little, uh, here, turn the wheel. Yeah, put a little, spray a little PB on it. We're gonna, there's the nipple right there. We're gonna bleed that. Just sort of spray it. All right guys, I'll uh, come back later. So here we are, here we are, draining. This is nasty, nasty brake fluid. Alex just got through blowing with the compressor. We blew out the uh, air vent tube. There was a big chunk of uh, the air vent of the carburetor. That that is that this little knob right there that my finger is pointing to. Right. Sometimes these cameras, the lens isn't where it needs to be. Where the lens? This little thing right there, that is an air vent, and this is the credit up tube. And we put, use the compressor to blow some air out. Also, I've modified this. The diameter, using a little bit of physics, the diameter of this is probably twice as large as the di diameter of the piece I just threw out that I cut off. And um, if you don't get that proper air intake, you're going to starve your engine which I believe I was doing. I, again, I thought it was a fuel problem, but I, it's an air problem. So now it's, I might be able to hook that back up too. So we're doing the brakes, emptying the fluid. We're gonna change it over. Change over some new brake fluid. This was really, to be honest, probably contaminated a bit with, it stunk, it's cruddy, like, and it stunk, it shouldn't stink. You know, it should smell like oil, but it shouldn't smell like something rotting. I mean, I'm going to clean that out good there. Hopefully so it doesn't clog. Uh, be careful so I, I don't dislodge shit in it. And they say do the brakes bleed the brakes first of the one, uh, to the side of where the uh, master cylinder's on first and then do the other side. But we'll see how it goes. We got this bad boy. It'll be pretty much ready to go up. Go visit Grass Lakes. Thanks for coming out. All right. Got the brake system nice and clean. That's cleaned out. There was tons of crud water and a foul smelling liquid coming out of there. I'm going to bleed that. I got this neat little technique I'm going to do is, oops, I'll start with this one, is I've got this little hose you put right on the, the nipple. Okay. And I think they say 
point it up because what it does is it uses gravity and it fills this tube and it doesn't drain out yet. I don't want it to drain out yet. Anyway, I'm going to do the other side and I'm going to make sure that it's tightened because I don't want it dribbling out of that side. Alex working on the lever. He wants to get that spring action going. I want it to be tight. Well, maybe it's not supposed to be as tight as you think it should. So I'm just going to make sure that this is there. It's tight a bit. So I will open it up and do one at a time. Because I don't want it leaking out of that one yet. All right, so there's the little technique I've seen. Here's Titus. He decides to come back from the front yard. Okay, so I heard seen this. Don't put a big hole. Just put a little hole. That way it doesn't go gushing out when you go to fill her up. Okay, so this needs to be up. Whoops, this needs to be up. And I'm gonna see liquid coming in there. I think that's open enough. This is in case I need to collect my fluid and not ruin it and not waste it. Okay. Brake fluid, it's it. Boy, I'm not used to seeing it this clean. I had to look, I thought it was freaking water. Alex, you should see how nice and clean this fluid is. It's brand new. Oh my god. I it's, thought it it's I thought it was I thought it had a Yeah, I know, but I thought it was a amber color to be honest. No, that's the rust. Oh, yeah, that was the crud, man. Years of crud. There's still crud that when you build it up. Not bad. It's listen, it's it's as good as it's gonna get. So it's draining a little bit. So bubbles should start. Oh yep. See, look, I'm getting the old stuff out. Something came out there. Why is this high? I know. Well, I wanted to see it fill out this way, but I guess I can I can go down, but I didn't want to waste any of the fluid okay, Give it a couple pumps mm. oh, bubbles now. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Let's, Let's see. I want to see the bubbles I had some kind of missed them. No, no, it needs to be there's some good pumps Yeah, see the bubbles guys? That means it's going through the system. There we go. We're gonna get something. Keep going. You gotta because there's a lot you can of tighten the screw too. There's a, I I know, but I'm I'm not dealing with that. I just want to get this through. What what, what screw do I want to tighten? This. Why, why? It's it's pushing. Well, how much more pushing do you, I, I don't mean? Know. It's adequate pushing. It depends how much brake. Well, if you got if you got fluid in there, the hydraulics a little tweak should be enough. Holy crap, what is going on? What? Why is it not coming through? The no, I think just, just emptying it, it gets airlock. Flushing the system. And then, see how it's draining. Okay, so here I am flushing the system. I gotta fill this up again. Oops, sorry guys. Easier to start up. Just cleaning the whole system. Should eventually start getting tight, but we'll see how it goes. It's probably airing it still. Good, that's getting more clear. So it's almost like a cleaning the system out. Yep, and that's going to drain. Okay. All right, guys. So the next video, I'll just make sure it's all done. I'm just giving it a little wash out. Thanks for coming out. Alex is working on the auger. I had to rip it off. What? So I, it's easier to work on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So... I'm just gonna have this to is the next some, project. Put some two cycle in it. Yeah, it might just work. Take the plug off and clean it too. Well, I'm just gonna see if it goes. Yeah.